Welcome to your weekday cup of the word. We're in Luke 14 and chapter 14 continues that uh, journey of Christ on his way to Jerusalem to be crucified. Now in this chapter you're going to see a lot of language wrapped around uh, the illustration of feasts and banquets. He's going to start by talking about pride. He'll talk about pride in terms of we should be the kind of people who take the lower seats and not the chief seats so that we can be raised up as opposed to having to be demoted. Uh, he'll also talk about the idea of when you have a meal, who do you invite? Do you invite people who can return and reciprocate? Or are you the kind of person who has the kind of heart that wishes to do good to those who can't reciprocate? Uh, he'll then talk about excuses. And once again, we'll wrap it in the idea of a feast. He'll say the kingdom that Christ was about to buy with his own blood. It's like a, a great and wonderful meal. And the master invites everybody, and then all of a sudden, the people who were first invited, in this case, the people first invited to the church would be the Jews. The, they start to make excuses, one after the other. I can't make it because of this, and I can't make it because of this. And Jesus is illustrating that many people will miss out on salvation simply because they've got other things that are more important to them. So it's time to prioritize. And that's where he goes into talking about the cost of discipleship. He'll talk about bearing your cross, and you've got to be willing to do that, that you must love Christ more than you love your own physical family, and that it's like somebody building something, that you've got to calculate the cost of building something before you build it, otherwise you end up half-finished and, and the whole thing's a waste. Or a king that's going to go to war. If you're going to put lives on the line, you have to think about uh, what you're doing before you commit troops. And his whole point in that is, I want you to calculate as you live your life, uh, what is your soul worth? Uh, what is uh, valuable to you? What are your priorities? And are you willing to pay the cost of not being a disciple of mine? And are you willing to pay the cost of being a disciple of mine? Because there's going to be a cost either way. Which cost is the one you're willing to pay? That's Luke chapter 14, a thoughtful book on calculating the cost of a life with God and a life without God. That's your daily cup. We'll see you tomorrow.